What's good, it's Pop YouTube fan. We back in our reaction video. We got my boy made in Korea with the Camara and art was crazy, and it was. We got some of my favorite villains P2, Miriam, not Poof. All my niggas hate Poof. Yuppie was cool. We got Sp Guy Speed Killer. We got Adult Gone. We got Netro Zero Hand. We got to see the scene when uh, when Gone almost knocked, almost put a hole in Moro's chest. We got Kite. I mean, we got a lot in this arc. But with that being said, my boy is going. Oh, my used to ask channel is going to be linked down below. And launders in the video. Make sure you go show them love. Hit the sub button, all the good stuff. You know, we gotta hit the lights. Oh, I need this after what happened to me, boy. Hey, when you lose a video game and it's not your fault, so you gotta sit there and just eat that, and it's okay. Make it full screen. Let's get right into it. Turn me up, gangy. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are we doing? It's me, Hello. You stats. Did you ever watch that peak? Hunter Hunter. But you mm -hmm. stats, it's actually called Hunter X Hunter. If I catch no, you it's saying not. that, bro, we gonna whoop you, okay? But anyways, right. this video is kinda X long, so get ready. Is silent. So coming off of Greed Island, Gona and Kilua go to see Jing, but instead they find what who is this nigga? Ain't no right. way Jing made them complete a whole squid game death game just mm -hmm. to not show up. Instead they got bodied by this dude who pulls out a whole black ops Come pack here, of punched AR. I missed and Daquan. Blasting at them. But if we ignore the fact that Broski looks like NK the Squid Pokemon, then we learn that he just shot at he a nest of Chimera Ants. This guy's he name is do. Kite, and he's actually Jing's student. Kite met Jing when he was younger, and let's just say, he changed that broke nigga's life. He, he gave did. Kite motion, and now he's on a mission to destroy the Chimera Ants. But you, Stats, what's the Chimera Ants? We're 50 seconds in! I'm gonna Let get him explain. Okay? This man Kite is doing God's work, because the Chimera mm -hmm. Ants do not play. They are not no, regular ants. These Chimera not. Ants are bigger than Shaq. They have something called Glycogenesis, just like you, meaning whenever they eat something, they take their genes. So if she eats Homelander, we're gonna see some super ant flying around with laser yeah. beams, destroying entire planes for no reason. Scary. And if she eats Eustace, we're gonna see the most beautiful, caring, understanding, and rich ant we've hey. ever been. We've seen the queen ants start giving birth to all Boo! Let me We stop. got a turtle <laughs> ant, we got a crab ant, we got a, I, I don't even know what this Ew, is. Ew, what is that, but seahorse? But eating whatever produced that thing, okay, she is still starving. We seen some kid walking, and I knew it was over. A crab new yeah. ant pulled up on this kid and put him on a shirt. She was feasting on bro. Real fast. R.I.P. little bro, life is not fair, okay? He got the final boss on his first mission. But if life's mm -hmm. unfair to everyone, isn't life fair? Was life fair that I was born in Stingleberry, Oregon, the hardest spawn point of America? The hardest spawn point in the world? Wow. You just got bad RNG, cuz. Walking one time. Can you believe that? He didn't even go to the crosswalk. I have PTSD, and I think back to these moments of how hard my life was in Bad the RNG. Of Bad RNG. So that kid was reborn as an ant. Bad RNG. And not like some general, like some cool leader, like the ant king. He was born as like a store runner, like, hey, bitch ass nigga, go get my fucking snacks. I'd be he was. pissed if I die and I'm not reborn as Goku. Instead, literally. I'm like, bro, just let me die. At this yeah, thing. His cult. first mission was to go raid his own city, bro. They used all flying troops because his old city had no air defense. Rookie mistake. Since they're like Town Hall Rookie 2, mistake. he slaughtered this whole village on like low difficulty. He got and all stoned. this is happening on a country called the NGL. So Gon, Kai, Kilua, and a few not other people to check it out. They pull up on some horses, and bro, this is hilarious. Look like, at Kilua. Why is Kilua standing? on this horse niggas do anything when the hose is looking bro like Literally. come on what are you you doing too much silky what are you doing the other hunters arrive first and try to confront the ants but instead they're getting packed up by a freaky grandpa Yuck. spider ant there was only like one decent hunter in this entire group i know what you're thinking why are you calling him decent don't you see him packing him up no bro because no, he, he was okay they did that man dirty this other hunter tried to run as fast as she could okay oh, yeah she got she popped one direction because mm -hmm. she ran to 2013 king vaughn Bro emptied a whole clip on her dead body, so it's safe to say yeah, I feel bad for standing her. on business. We need mm -hmm. to take them more seriously. Gon and Kilo will find their note, and they decide, we're finna slide. They start finding dead bodies, they're visiting villages, and it looks like Tanjo's family when he came back. They start finding weird horses on crosses, and as a yeah, I don't know myself, what that was. I know magic, so I can tell you, bruh, they need to get away from there right now. <laughs> Gon and Kilo are like 12, okay? They got more balls than me. I would have been ran. <laughs> then this dude for sure. Wow, he is chopped. He actually just beat Cuff him. And 
in annoying TV for the he ugliest is. man of today. And he's broke too. He was like, hey, is y'all gonna eat that? Like, broski, you want he's some like, dead yes, horses? He right. pulls up on Kite and then he just teleports away. Bro left Golden Kilo to die. Like, are you serious? Then Literally. he starts showing off his aura. Then midway, he's gone. He's like, hey, y'all got this. Hey, y'all got this. I know y'all like it. Like, no, y'all got this. No. This right here is Help level 100 me. instigating, bro. This man started a fight, then somehow did not fight. So Golden right. Kilo started walking him down, rolling up their sleeves. They start a generational jump. Kilua kicks him while Gon punches, bro. And Kilua starts moving different. He pulls a lightning down slam out of his thunderbolt. And Gon moving different too. This man charged up a whole special move. Then cracks, bro. He bodied him so hard. He had to get rescued, bro. Like, come on now. I'm not gonna lie. Take him back Boy. to the Ant Queen and get him put down, bro. Because this Literally is terrible. They decide sucks. to keep exploring and come across some type of base. They're chilling. Then some chimera ants come out the gutter. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. There's some That's a regular dude. human. Like, yeah. What did they do to this man? Man, put him on That's you, Timothy. He has Timothy? to face a crazy day from plant versus zombies. Bro looking for the ops in both directions. They had this man getting walked like a dog by this big old fool. Another one comes Freak. out. And bro, why do you have a mask on? She got no things. Four years ago. Let it go, bro. If she you got the things, though. Them ant things. And, other dude and I need out. it. And you know those things that would dance in the Mario sand map, bro? He is built just like that. He tries to pull up on Gone, spamming some weak punches. And then he flanked this man mid-fight and cracked him. Just to finish him off, he charges up a scissor attack and turns into some broken Lego. He was looking like the toys when Andy pulls up, just falling mm -hmm. apart. Ayo and Teo try to snatch up Kilua, and then he and just Teo. walked in and destroyed both of her arms. But midway, she stabs him with a poison stinger. And I ain't gonna lie, this is mad freaky having a spike in your throat and a spike in your booty. Like, hey, literally. I tap that though. And then Kilua would, just chucks it it like a PS4 when niggas try to run Sparking Zero on it. Like, bro, it has been five years. Get a new gen. Put that Facts. PS4 to rest. You've been Put it in the trash. It over a decade. Let it rest, bro. Just shut it Let down it for the go. last time. Then she starts flexing, but out of nowhere. Oh, guess not. Yep. He snaps her neck and says, yeah, poison doesn't work on me. Okay, bro. Kite was fighting the dog owner, and he was juking this <laughs> man out. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Then he kicked bro right in his dome. Then he pulled out his switch and just finished him on the spot. Like, how did he do this? The fight was shorter than Kevin Hart. The fight was shorter <laughs> than Mini-Me. The fight was shorter right. than Kai bro. Like, he really dropped him off. Shorter than my man Tavy. DNA advantage and home court advantage. Just lose to an Emo. Just to lose. Got three old. On got 30. The base, and they get ambushed by a bunch of ants and have a mini tournament arc. Gon said, all right, you know, I'll go first and gets matched up against some armadillo or like whatever these things are called, okay? He rolls that Gon Armor and what, he bro? decides to the <laughs> life out of this man and lands like Spider-Man. So the guy pulls up with the same move again, but this time he gon' sidestep and cracks Gon. Gon does this little hand gesture, and I ain't gon' lie. I think he's throwing up like his set or something like I ain't he know was. Was banging like that, but I guess he, he is. He the Hunter game. for the same move, but Gon just catches this man, lifts him into the air like light work, then squeezes this man to death. He literally made him cry. Then it's Kilua's turn, and he starts using Shadow Clone Jutsu, trolling this man, making him run into trees. I don't know if y'all ever played this old Spider-Man game, but like, this is exactly how you'd have to beat Rhino. Like, I don't know the game, but like, it was a peak game. Kilua starts teleporting on bro, and shot this man with lightning to weaken him, then finishes him by stabbing him through his chest, bro. Like, come on now. Now it's time to to fight, and he said, ain't no one-on-one, -on -one. ain't no one-on-one. -on -one. I want the whole plate. He pulls up like one one. and one shots the entire ant group. This man walking around like the 2018 soccer skin, bro. Pulling up Literally. the squad wipe. This man is different. Gon and Kilo start being followed by some air troops, so they gotta run for it. They think they made it away, but unfortunately, they get stream sniped by the strongest ant, Pito. And she leaps across the whole map, cutting off Kite's entire arm. And Kilo just dips with Gon like, hey. Sometimes you gotta know your limits, okay? And at no, the end yeah, of the episode, facts. we see that Pito is playing basketball with Kite's head, bro. She off screen like go. He was only mm -mm. around for like 10 episodes, bro. Literally. Gon and Kilo make it back to the border, and three of the strongest hunters pull up to handle these ants. Now we got this dude Nove, he's pretty chill. We got Moro, he's low key the MVP of this arc, and we got the strongest hunter, Netero. After getting ran off the block by Pito, these dudes got sent back home for that McDonald's shift, bro. They're not built for that hunter life. But when they're walking around, they run into Bisky, my cougar queen, and this like Thanks, my cougar crazy queen. Who, like I don't really like them, but they agree to train them, okay? They yeah, that was Kila, stinky. Training, like them Instagram dudes that be doing way too much. Like I promise you, bouncing on a dumbbell will not make you stronger. They go to At meet all. their other trainer. His name is Knuckle, and he's my goat. He was like, punch me as hard as you can, and if I don't move, which I won't, y'all gotta bounce. 
but he was not familiar with Gon's game, okay? Not at this all. This nigga charged up with the junkin and put no to sleep, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. So obviously, they cheated, that's not real training, so they wanna actually run the fade back with Knuckles. So they go for round two, trying to jump him, and he blocks one kick, dodges the other, he then blocks Kilua's kick with a kick. He catches Gon and throws him back at Kilua. Yo, tell Knuckle me this is hard. Quick, why is you 13 wearing booty shorts, bro? That is mad weird. Now you kind of thick though. Like he was talking crazy. crazy. Okay, that's not even me, okay? I mean, he was playing dodgeball with Gon, so you kind of have to respect him, bro. Knuckle was teaching them boys why his name is Knuckle. He was mm. cracking them by the head, okay? He sent them boys walking home on sticks. They got work, nah, okay? They... <laughs> In the meantime, the top tier hunters have been XP farming these weak ants. Bro was teleporting them into a room and then just working them. He literally used one as a chair. This man that bro is devious. But literally right after this, we see there's three more Royal Guard ants and they're just <sighs> as strong as Pito. You know, the same Pito that low did my goat kite? But it gets Scary. even worse for the hunters. The king is being born. Wait, it's too early. Shut up. This man, matter, matter of fact, this baby. How you tell her to shut up before you're up born? Before he was even born and killed her on his arrival. Bro is the original young nigga. He was the youngest young nigga ever. He don't even need a shiesty. He was born with some type of helmet. Oh, he literally no. murked the doctor that tried to help his mom. And then he told the doctor's friend, clean my tail now. And some geek stepped up. I'm sure I actually have a napkin. Chopped off I wasn't head talking and had to you. Cleaning his tail in seconds. But I ain't gonna lie, it makes sense he folded, okay? He had all the pressure on his back. Then he just he flew off with his crew and went to go eat. But no, he didn't go eat at like some McDonald's or something. Bro pulled up to a village and started munching on some children and then smacked his assistant for speaking up. Bro got a murder charge, assault case, and domestic violence charge Three in seconds after he was hour born. of being alive Literally. with the Ant King leaving and the Ant Queen being dead like Elizabeth. Oh, oh I said the name! <laughs> Right, bro, please call me, Liz. Please, please. please. Anyways, Crazy. the engine will start going on vacation, doing whatever they want, bro. They're moving like Taylor Swift just because there's no king and no queen. But guess where they didn't go? Stingleberry, Oregon. They know better. And while they're slacking off, the Ant King went to go take over a whole country. Bro just walked in the president's crib and one-tapped all his soldiers, and now he's the king? Bro think he nick a 30? You're not the king, buddy! With Gon and Kilo catching the hands from Knuckle, they don't have permission to go on the mission right now, so Gon and Kilo stay at home to train. Gon was training by going on dates with mentally unstable, fatherless, yeah. hello king he got girl, the riz, though. evil. And Kilo went to go fight an ant, it's that same old bum, but this time he has some aura. Kilo must start tweaking off that Alumi perk and gets whipped for a bit. I mean, he was literally getting served some ABA back shots, bro, like straight literally. violation, okay? Nah, it's crazy disrespectful, because we go from Kilo getting whooped, to Gon getting some cheeks, to Kilo getting whooped, and back and forth, back and forth, like, bro, yeah, y'all get Kilo a crazy. At least show him winning the fade in one single frame, bro. Right. But Kilo locks in, and it rips out the needle that was holding him back. So now that he's stronger, he speed blitzes bro and just pulls his head off. Now that Gon and Kilo head. are both stronger, they can join the pro hunters on the Chimera Ant mission. But first, it turns out Kai is actually alive, but he's just straight tweaking. They must have used my Haitian grandma's voodoo on him to bring him back, you know what I'm saying? They never come back the same though, I ain't gonna lie to you, okay? They don't. Gon misses Kai so much, he doesn't know what to do besides visit him. But once he shows up, we see the condition that Kai's really in, okay? This man looks terrible. Looks Gon walks up to him and Kai's beating that nigga ass for no reason. He hit him with the fight back. Hey, let him get up, let him get up. And fight back. Like he just wilding on my mind. And so Gon finally decides to dodge and gives Kai a big hug. Apologizing and promising to fix Kai after every everything. It was pretty deep, okay? We never seen Gon so serious and so motivated. Now they continue the mission, heading to the NGL via riding the train. And they are lucky they are not in New York City, okay? You could run into anybody on a Literally. New York City train, bro. They Literally. got Chimera rats over there, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> then we see the Phantom Chimera Trooper, rat. and they had my legs swinging in the air. Because when the Phantom Trooper on screen, you just know it's gonna be it's, peak, okay? It's about to go they heard down. They built a base in their hometown of Meteor City with no permission slip to be there, okay? Okay, so they just pulled up, walked Ain't right that into their base, and decided hmm? to have a race to see who can kill the boss first. They're out here playing in real life Dark Souls with these Chimera Ants. Like, bro, they are not a joke, okay? They're really doing a clickbait 3 a.m. challenge to see who can kill the terrorist ants first. Like, bro, what is wrong with y'all? Sphinx pulled up on this monkey ant and started cocking up his punch, okay? Mm -hmm. Look, he got like 15 times, let out a crazy punch, and deleted this man in one Ooh. shot. She's a well, you mean deleted? He mean deleted. Grandpa Spider and started yeah. beating him with a vacuum, like, bro. How do you get full boxed by Shizuku, okay? And then she starts sucking up all the blood from his cuts. 
this shit have been me. Fuck this man, okay? They all got worked. Hey, if she wanna suck the blood out of me, hey, go ahead. I'm down for yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, anyway, yes, Tom was sir. the strongest soldier in town, and he cooked her. No, like seriously, this nigga pulled out he the sun tweaking. and burnt her alive. Bro almost killed like half the Phantom Troop, you almost burned up everyone, okay? But get ready, because now that we're past that, we're in the final phase. The extermination of the Chimera Ants. Like, yes, yes sir, sir, bro, it's time those thugs get dealt with. On yes, the first sir. mission, Kilua starts getting followed, so he jumps off a whole cliff into the trees. But this flying bug decided he won't allow any bush camp. He sends like his goons after Kilua, so he has to reverse jump them. And then he runs into this octopus ant guy, and he's low-key chill, so him and Kilua start teaming. Gon also runs into an ant, but it's a chameleon dude and like he's kind of chill he wants no smoke he so he joins the team while they've been making moves the king has been looking for someone that can beat him in a board game because he's been stomping every single professional in the world clearly he ain't no real king because real bosses will try to win fncs and he was a real mm. black leader he'd be playing fortnite my girlfriend mm. kept saying it's me or fortnite guess what now she's single and i'm on fortnite winning the cash cup okay talk you know, crazy stats, you know i'm cracked okay don't even play me okay like that. fortnite is my life then this blind girl komogi walks in and she clapped Can't them on the board game. She clapped them for so long, it became night, and the hunters were invading the castle. They had no idea. They had my boy Moro running around. They had no infiltrating the castle. But after being on the op block for 15 seconds, he started tweaking. Bro was moving like Takashi six That boy nine. felt that aura. up and wanted to leave instantly. Bro got the three-day free trial of being a hood nigga and started looking for retirement plans. The rest of the boys link up and come up with a plan though. Now obviously the king's a terrible person, but Komugi is making him grow and change the person. Like this man walked in and saved it from a whole bird. It even no, had he me a little killed the bird like, too. I kind of like this guy somewhat now. But all the boys link up and decide tonight is a night they break in and slap Merwim just like DDG. When the right. three-year-old guards are standing outside, they got this Obamacare drone strike dropped on them. Netero and Kilua's grandpa Zeno make it rain over the whole building, and Netero is just standing there in the sky looking down on Pito. Then he started praying to God and hit bro with a grand Sarah like she got worse. And literally Kilo sent her flying, writing, saying, "Yeah, bro, she low diffs you." Kilua, going and shoot, thought they were gonna make it inside, but they ran into Yupi. So Knuckles starts punching bro while he's invisible, even while the building's getting broken. Unfortunately, Netero has stormtrooper aim, so he didn't hit anyone besides an innocent disabled girl. And I'm crazy honest, how that works. deserved it, bro. I don't care if she's innocent. I don't care if she disabled. What? This girl was so annoying. She always had snot on her face. I don't care how old I am, bro. It is useless. Okay? Come on, like, bro. Up, the king was pissed, and he told Netero, "Let's go outside for the fade." Them boys mm -hmm. are on a generational fade, so just they wait, did. okay? You be they transformed did. into Dioxus and start swinging his arms all over, bro, fighting all the boys. Morel is sending out Shadow Clone just to hit Yuppie, and Knuckle is sneaking this man while being invisible thanks to the Chameleon. Yon and Kilua already left to go handle mm -hmm. Pito, though. On the way there, they run into Netero and the King. Netero said, hey. Netero just points to Pito, like, bro is the worst influence, bro. You just sent two kids Look to the Royal Look Guard. Like, he, he knew how the bone fell, he knew he's gonna crash out, but he did not care. He just hops on a dragon with Merwim, and they just head off, like, all right, bro, not his problem, I guess. Gon pulls up on Pito while she's giving an innocent civilian Pito free health care, but Gon does not care about that nonsense. Leave it to the pussy Canadians. This man powered up, and he's looking mad evil. He says, hey, you better heal my man Kite immediately. But she folds underneath the Aura King's pressure, okay? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> uh, she begs Gon to wait, and he man. gets even more angry, okay? This man Gon was on the verge of crashing out. Like, what is she talking about? Please wait. She put this wait. man on hold in real life. I guess wait. the only good thing about this is he doesn't have to hear some terrible music. Like, one time, I called this place, and they put me on hold, and they started playing Rich Amir into the speaker, bro. I hung then I got a bomb and blew up the building. She's like, crazy. Please, I'll do anything. Just wait. Hey, I know a couple of y'all little freaks that would ask for something crazy, but we're not going to speak on that, okay? He's like, how long will it take? She's like, uh, three to four hours. Too long, bro, okay? <laughs> That's really what he said. He said too long. Kite. Bro just sits down and waits, staring at Pito like King Bond's vessel. This man is a monster. While Gon waits, Knuckle is fighting Yuppie, and Kilua leaves to go join him. He hits Yuppie with the airstrike, and Knuckle starts beating on this man. Bro gave him a 10-piece combo. He ran away just to hop into the flying kick. Then he actually ran, okay? This time, he yeah, was trying to get that's gone, crazy. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> HP, so someone has to take him to the I hospital, been the same. or he's going to turn into a reboot card. But then Kilua pulls up, looking down on Yuppie, he and pissed. he walks down, activating his new technique, Godspeed. But Shine Master, what does Godspeed do? Bro, are you serious, bro? Like, I'm finna quit YouTube, bro. Like, why was he really finna comment that? Like, 
It's literally in the name, kind of. Literally, you know, please. Right, keep watching the video. I'm gonna like, explain it. Okay? Lock in. Keep on Yupi and starts shocking this man. The soul out of him, bro, looking freaky. I ain't gonna lie. He starts spamming substitution jutsu and smacking this man. And I ain't gonna lie, it's like he's solo jumping Yupi. The combos this man was hitting are just insane. Morel uses shadow clone jutsu with a bunch of knuckles, but Yupi has an AOE attack, so he's wiping all of them. They were just trying to buy time because Knuckles' land ability drains other people's nan over time, so you know, Knuckles hiding, waiting it out. But when all the clones are destroyed, Morel is out of nan, so Knuckles has no choice but to reveal himself, and he makes a trade with Yupi. If he spares Morel, he'll fight him one on one and remove all his nan abilities. And that's exactly what he does. But Yupi just says, See you later, nigga, and starts heading off to help the king. Like, I mean, that Literally, is his job, he, I ain't gonna it lie. Is. But if I mirror him, I'm gonna fire this nigga immediately. He's been doing whatever he wants for like 10 episodes, bruh. He is just- And now you want to help. help. Now you want to help. Him and Nenero are having a standoff, and the king said, Join me. I'll rule the world. I'll make the NGL great again. Hold on, bruh. You trying to make me your store runner, bruh? Like, hell nah. You wildin'. He starts walking Literally. to the mirror and starts changing the colors of the anime, bro. Dude started praying to that fat dude. I, I forgot his name. Uh... Buddha, yeah, but this dude Buddha, okay. But this time he was not fat, so I guess he was always like two steps ahead, just like Nikocado Avocado. But anyways, mm -hmm. he hit this man with a giant karate chop, then clapped him with his big hands, and man with him just opened them and hopped out. Bro sat on the floor and started staring said, down Netero. But then Netero said, we're said, better than this Netero. I'm gonna die, boy. You wanna know your real name? Then fight me and I'll tell you. Merwim's on a mission to discover himself, so that means a lot to him, okay? So he's actually down to fight if he can learn his true name. So Merwim gets in a fighting stance, and all I'm gonna say is, boy, slow down with all that, bruh. You was not in kicking it. You're right. not the karate kid, okay? Right. And Netero are having a goofy off. But at least Netero is transforming her like something, bro, okay? Netero starts floating, just like me, when I get to hear that eternal mm. take two. And then he summons Buddha and starts spamming some punches. He did all this while standing there. And Buddha, what is rage. you throwing up, bruh? I know you was not false claiming. You are too old for this. He Come smacks on, the king under the OG. and starts beating bro farther down, okay? He sent my man to the mine shaft to go look for diamonds. He sent bro to the underworld. He sent my man to the shadow realm. He follows the king down underground, and I gotta say, why does bro not have no shoes on? And why is he always repping? We see the king sitting there. Hey, he throwing up his head no We're gonna act like he didn't just tank 1,000 punches straight. Like, bro took the whole Rambo combo, and he's chilling. Netero summons Buddha again and starts slapping his man around. Like, yo, why is he looking at me like that? Like, freaky ass old man, broski. You are 153 or something, bro. Leave me alone. I ain't nah. even ripen yet. I'm still young, bro. He's my ain't even ripen The king yet. gets rolled up and put in a spin cycle. He was hitting the sonic roll, then got sent flying through a wall. You might have assumed he took some damage. Damage, but this nope. man is fine. Matter of fact, Perfectly he is better, fine. stronger, and even more evil, okay? And you got Netero throwing hearts like, bro, get your freaky ass on. <laughs> the king keeps trying to get to Netero, but he just keeps slapping this man away. He was trying to do no real fighting, okay? Eventually, he claps Netero again, and I have to say, bro, learn your lesson. You cannot hold that he man did. in. It's like he's trying to catch a Mewtwo with a netball, bro. What is wrong with this old man? I've uh, done that, so actually. Outside of Merwim, he is smoking like everyone. The king tries to blitz <coughs> Netero, but gets slapped again, and he does like 20 backflips for no reason, bro. But now the king has a new strategy. He dodges the hand and starts jumping across the room. He's a bite on the read the pattern. And the best plan he has is quick attack? He was still getting smacked around and decided, you know what? I'm gonna let myself get hit until Netero slips up and I'm gonna punish this man. And when Netero finally slipped up, he ripped off Netero's leg and he says, I, bro, I already won. Just tell me my name. You're not the king. I'm the king. And I ain't gonna lie, he was he no. disrespectful. But Netero says, boy, we just getting started. I am not mm -hmm. finished. He should have known. Literally. These old anime dudes be different. Don't know. They don't know when, when to quit. Keep keeping up with Prime Meruem. He tries to smack Meruem, but once again, another limb gets snatched off. Maybe he's not him, okay? Meriwim just sits down and gives the same speech. You know how confident you gotta be to sit down mid-fade? Bro thinks life is sunshine and rainbow. But nope, Netero goes not. for one more Pokeball, and damn, look at this man Meriwim. Keep him in there. Do not let that thug out, bro. He's gonna do something despicable if he Literally. gets out. Keep him locked up. Netero opens a little pocket and uses that same big old beam, bro. This man uses his Grand Sero and held it down for like 10 seconds. Look how it left him, though. He's on 1 HP. This man lost all his life. He is damn near in the graveyard already. As for Meriwim, he gets gets up and barely took any damage. He says Netero is the strongest human, but he is not no king. Bro said he was born to rule the world outside of Stingleberry, Oregon, because I'm here. But then Netero starts mm, laughing. What was you gonna do to him? Behind him. I was thinking, hey, like, those who know, mango, mango, mango. But then this evil, <laughs> yo, then this evil <laughs> appears and he starts cooking something. The king felt true fear for the first time.
These were not the words of a beaten and broken old man. I don't know who this narrator is, but his he writing cooked. is fire. He's cooking. He does not miss. There was two fire quotes back to back. Merriwim tries to run, but Netero said, don't underestimate humans, nigga. And then he blows them hey. up, bro. Mm -hmm. He pointed his rocket at the floor. The next person to comment, but you, Stas, I'm gonna go to your house. I'm gonna hit you with this, bro. Poof and Yuppie were still on their way when they seen this, bro. Like, I I'm gonna be real, bro. Y'all have to get fired. Y'all were supposed to be there suck. 20 minutes ago but now the time's up and Gon's ready to either fight or get kite fit. so Pito had no other choice but to leave with him because he might crash out and kill everyone including himself we see the king this man looking like a Haitian black as shit Bro crazy cook. cook poof is crying Yuffie is crying but since they're top tier glazers they use their glazing power to revive their goat this is insane now that the king is back he lost his memory so he's mad at evil again so to stop Merwin from becoming soft again poof flies over to kill Komogi but Kila was already running away from poof because nobody trusts that Atlanta zesty thug, okay? He might relax on us appropriately. Gon and Pito walk all the way over to Kite, and Gon says, All right, man, fix Kite right now. And Pito says, I He's already go. dead. He's already dead. I mean, bruh, how did y'all not see this coming, bruh? Like, all right, you cannot get decapitated and still be alive, all right? Le this man was please, on autopilot. He'd been dead for a minute. This man a got to speaking because no way she wasted an hour of his life that he could have been scrolling on TikTok. But then this black smoke starts coming all around the room. It's that voodoo magic, and he makes himself stronger. Bro gets big as hell. He built like Eustace. Pito tries to speed blitz him, he but like then he just vanishes. He's already behind her, but like down the entire hall. This man just stands in there or look at him posed and posed. look at this man he been watching hamza mewing tutorials mewing tips and tricks okay he tells pito to follow him and i ain't gonna lie you know bro is evil when he's walking outside with no shoes on and i ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie he also got a dumpy this nigga got what in the trunk She's what him, but bro just weaves her and gives her that instant replay there was no way this man got his own highlight reel off of this clip this is top tier flight reacts or a it is. finest okay it instant is. replay for nothing then he kicks her in her ribs and she goes flying into the air and while she's flying up bro starts charging up the maximum jajunkin when she finally fell down he hit his critical on her face and she goes flying across the entire forest then he starts walking her down like he's Walk, chasing no Always walking her down for sure feeding. we just seen her feet hit the floor and i ain't gonna lie a real nigga like me would have took her socks off but what anyways, you mean she randomly gets up and cuts off gone's arm but this man is not tripping he grabs his arm and stabs her with it a down slam with your own arm is insane hey but for what she did that's she had moves to though. Go. i'm standing it with gone okay it was worth crouching out over but then the king starts thinking of komugi and when he finally runs into her he knows that the bomb has poison in the air but he does not care he wants to play board games dying with komugi what a beautiful ending i must say beautiful okay? ending. but anyways this is my longest video ever let me know how i did okay in the comments let me know what you want to see next um yeah just beautiful. Like a video um i worked really hard on it uh yeah if you guys prefer longer videos we can do that um, i loved it kisses for eustace Kisses for my boy Eustas. <laughs> Kisses for my boy Eustas. <sighs> but Hunter Hunter is peak. Top 10 all time. Dead or alive. Continuing or not continuing. Hiatus, hiatus. Hunter x Hunter is top tier. <laughs> the Chimera Heart is the I I just wanted to get animated. The rest of the stuff it's gonna be so good if it gets animated. Like it's gonna be so good. But yeah, it was a lot of folks that died. <laughs> but I always feel bad about the one the woman that had when she got popped in the woods and he just kept shooting because you just see her feet just going. I was like, yo, this thing is crazy. Oh, like, I don't know, bro. It was a lot. Great art, though. Great art. But with that being said, my boy channel will be linked down below. I'm under the video. Make sure you're showing some love. Hit the sub button, all the good stuff. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs> yeah.